We interrupt this regularly scheduled reconstitution series of videos <laughs> to bring you this important, this very important message from me, the sponsor of this video, me, <laughs> the Patreon of this video, me. <clears throat> if I ever get to the point where I'm asking for Patreons, <laughs> don't. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so Sandy and I were uh, busy today uh, doing stuff uh around the neighborhood and uh we decided to stop in at the brick shack in grinsby ontario I haven't said i had our good friend jamie in a while so we went over to the brick shack and it was as always a fantastically pleasant experience and um we didn't get too much there i didn't buy too much besides <laughs> yellow minifig <laughs> it's a it's a new yellow minifig you can tell by that helmet but it's still a yellow minifig nonetheless because I honestly do not have, because they've all been reconstitutionalized into the sets that I've been recreating, too many yellow space guys left there in my wall, right over there. Action count, one, two, uh, three, four, five, six. Full space men. I have uh, one, two, three torsos that have no legs because I have no yellow legs that are just yellow. So they all have prints on it or whatever. So I used all my blank yellow legs up for something or other. And uh, so I'm actually just down to six yellow space guys that are free for something. Um, as like as opposed to wait, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 white guys left over there and a bunch over here. Uh, reds, I got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, red, I have no black guys, original classic space guys. They're all in the layout <laughs> so, or you know, reconstituted into a set. Um, and blue, um, I have one, two, three, three original blues and a whole bunch of bennies. Three original blues sitting there and a whole bunch of bennies. But uh, the white and reds are quote unquote my favorite, even though they're all my favorite. Uh, and the only reason why they're my favorite because they're originals. And in my hierarchy, my org chart, the red guys are pilots. So that's why there's a ton of red space guys in the layout. And the white guys are the uh, general maintenance mechanics and blah, blah, blah. Uh, so there's a lot of them, you know, in the layout. But uh, yellow, uh, I saw it, so I had to get it. Uh, the other thing that Jamie gave me, and he did tell me a little bit of the story, is this guy. 2021, Happy Easter, Legoland, Dubai. <laughs> I have a brick from across the pond, across the other side of the world. <laughs> I now have a Lego brick. Um, uh, he acquired a bunch, and he just gave me one. Thank you, Jamie. That was awesome. We had a nice chat. Uh, we are hoping we're going to spend some time together down at the... Uh, Niagara Falls Comic Con uh, in June where I'm bringing the layout um, I think it's going to be a great show uh, Sylvester McCoy is going to be there one of my favorite doctors and Radagast from Lord of the Rings um, the, the Hobbit um, he's always been and uh, he was in the 1999 I think it was 1999 reboot of Doctor Who uh, the, when they made the TV movie, thinking that was going to kick it off again. Uh, I forget the doctor's name, because, but at the beginning, uh, Sylvester McCoy was still Doctor Who, number eight. And then he regenerated into the doctor that did the two-hour movie. I like that movie, by the way. It's a little obscure. It's a little obscure, that movie. Uh, it's made for TV movie. Uh, it, but it is such a niche in time where they had better effects, they had better whatever, but they used kind of the original 70s and 80s template. <laughs> so yeah, you hear the cloister bell, doing when things go bad, which you still do sporadically in Doctor Who, by the way, which I really enjoy, but they used it a lot more back in the day with Tom Baker and and uh, uh, Peter, um, off the ground of Doctor Who number five, which I, who I did enjoy, uh, who showed up a few times. Um, uh, who, Doctor Who number six, he was brash and I didn't appreciate him at the time. I mean, I seen every Doctor Who episode ever, by the way, I'm a Whovian. Um, 
I, I seen every Doctor Who episode. I don't remember 90% of it, <laughs> unlike Star Trek. Uh, but I, I can, from my understanding, I've seen uh, from what, what I know, is I've seen every, at least every Doctor Who episode at least once, going right back to uh, the number two. Uh, but even the original, uh, we, we cut on reruns back on TVO back in the day. Um, so I watched a lot of Doctor Who <laughs> in my life. Um, and uh, I loved one, even though Crotchet, the old man, uh, I loved three when he was like stuck on earth doing stuff just without the TARDIS. I love that. Uh, Tom Baker's my favorite to this day. Um, even with the new ones, uh, because that's when it was a kid. It's like TOS most of the time. Um, when it comes to the new ones, like I was there and I was so excited when Eccleston showed up as the first Doctor Who number nine, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and the reboot, the, the remake, the re re reviving Doctor Who. And for what he had to do, I was glued to the TV each and every episode. Christopher, fantastic Doctor Who. Uh, he he was great. And the stories were awesome. And I loved Rose. And I loved, like, Mickey. I loved literally all of it. I wasn't 100% into it. Although, again, I was in, in a way. I wasn't 100% completely sold. I didn't think it was catching on as much as it should have been catching on in the, in the general population. Um, I thought it was just a classic Doctor Who fans were watching it when Eccleston was doing it. I think it's, I can't pronounce his last name, Christopher. Uh, it wasn't until Tennant showed up. <laughs> it just, from the very first minute, knocked it out of the park. Just, just Tennant. And again, I love Matt Smith. Don't get me wrong. I love Matt Smith as the doctor, as the youngest doctor or whatever. But Tennant's episodes, he reminded me so much of Tom Baker and the running around and blah, 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 and whatever, except he had a lot more emotional depth to it. It wasn't as quirky as uh, uh, Tom Baker, uh, but I love Tenet. I love Tenet with Rose. I love Tenet with, uh, oh, for crying out loud. I just had the name in my head, Donna, but no, between Rose and Donna was, oh, I'm going to hate myself for this. <laughs> she was great. <laughs> I liked her episode because that's where Blink showed up because Blink is in the top three best episodes ever in the history of Doctor Who. Um, the key to time back in Tom Baker's era was one of my favorite, favorite, favorite serial because they put six sets of stories into one big cute. Uh, can go for dinner. Okay. Um, but, uh, but I love Matt Smith and I loved um, the, I can't remember, Capaldi. I loved Capaldi. Even though the, doc, even though the episodes were a lot darker, I like that for a change because Matt Smith was all cute and fluffy and whatever, even though the Pandorica, which is a fantastic series and blah, blah. But the, um, when uh, Capaldi showed up, it really got dark pretty quick. <laughs> so, but I didn't mind it. I didn't mind it all. And I didn't mind him making the, the, the glasses of the sonic screwdriver. I didn't mind that. I, people Arr! didn't mind it. Um, and, and then uh, Jody, Mwah. chef's kiss i'm sorry people who are railing against jody uh the, if there was a downfall that you could attribute to anything it was the stories and i didn't mind the stories but she was a fantastic doctor she conveyed doctorness to me with without without any shadow of a doubt i love jody and um and then I like that little three part thing that they just did with David David Tennant showing up again with uh, with Donna, um, the, the fantastic. I loved all three episodes. The, 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 the Neil Neil Patrick Harris, beautiful <laughs> Chef's Kiss, uh, and I watched the new one, the first episode uh, with him, and um, I can't remember her name yet. Uh, it hasn't stuck with me yet. Uh, but I liked it. And again, I guess it's going to be pay-per-view. It's like a streaming service. So I'm not going to be, I'm going to have to catch it somehow. I don't know if uh, space is going to run them. But I really love Doctor Who, beginning to end. The weakest one for me was six. I was going back to six uh, after, um, why can't I remember his name now? <laughs> That's better. Uh, six was brash and whatever. But there was so much universe building with a lot of stuff with Gallifrey with six and when i look back at it now i can see the evolution of why six was the way he was if you want to take it in universe and so i don't mind him as much now that you see the bigger picture over the encompassing 50 years of doctor who i i actually see why he played the part the way he did and i like it and um 
Uh, but as I say, Sylvester McCoy, when Seven showed up, it got right back to being like number four with Tom Baker. It was quirky. It was fun. I liked Ace. I like I, I love Doctor Who. Um, but anyway, that's a whole tangent <laughs> going on from this break. Uh, and I have to go for dinner. Um, but my last thing I want to talk about is when we left the Brick Shack, we headed back towards Winona. And we stopped by the dollar store. And in the dollar store, we picked up another one of these because I liked it. It's this one. I got it during the last show we did uh, at Kids Fest. And I put him in the layout. So he's in the layout. And then we picked up this new flower, which is, I'll build sometimes. But I, a Technic, Technic poly bag. This is awesome. I get, and then for, for five, five bucks or whatever they are, you can't go wrong. <laughs> It's a few pieces and you get to put them together in a, on a whim at a coffee table if you're at the coffee shop. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to enjoy this because I love small Technic sets and I love big Technic sets. So I, I, I like the fact that you go to the dollar store and now you have Lego again. Uh, but that's what I want to talk about and um, I'm done. I'm going to go for dinner. So uh, everybody out there, stay safe, take care. Watch Doctor Who if you want to. <laughs> I love Doctor Who. Um, and uh, we'll talk more later.